And at the very least, it is highly unlikely that we'll stop a three to four degrees rise in the Earth's temperature, even if countries like America, Russia, China, India, and Australia join with the rest of us and start urgent action today. So unless we can devise a way of actually removing CO2 from the Earth's atmosphere, we will lose half of all species on Earth, including the polar bear and the walruses. We'll lose all the coral reefs, including the Great Barrier Reef. 100 million people will be displaced due to rising sea levels. Farmlands will become deserts, rainforests, wastelands. The realizes that we need to do something. We can't immediately um, you know, take off the road. To be so the challenge, Al Gore, James Lovelock, Jim Hansen, Sir Crispin Tickhell, Tim Flannery and myself are laying down to the world's brightest brains is to devise a way of removing greenhouse gases at least the equivalent of one billion tons of carbon per year and hopefully much more. And you will have the satisfaction of saving thousands of species and possibly even mankind itself. You will also be awarded the largest prize ever offered, the Virgin Earth Prize and the $25 million that comes with it. Well, I'd like to end by saying it took 60 years for John Harrison to win the Longitude Prize. The Earth cannot wait 60 years. We need everybody capable of delivering an answer to put their minds to it today. And agriculture, which have together allowed our population to reach 6.5 billion and thus create the problem. We